it's far. I'm neighbor Sharif. I am neighbor Sean. And, and I'm neighbor Mike. Ah! We're coming to you live on Almost Tape from the beautiful lower Hudson Valley in Westchester, New York. And when I say beautiful, I mean, this is uh, this is July at its finest. We're not even supposed to be here. We, no. we were trying to take July <laughs> off. We, we were all on vacation, and we just couldn't be away from Fed's Bar. We, just, we decided to come back. I mean, Sh neighbor Sharif decided to go up to Harwich Fort, and he filmed all of this amazing content of going to Devil's Purse. Uh, where else Hog, did you go? Hog Island. Hog Island. And then, um, uh, Matt from Hog Island and Mike from Devil's Purse. Two awesome guys. Thank you so much for your hospitality. Your beer's awesome and, and your breweries are awesome. We brought one of those back uh, from our vacation. We, it was we brought a lot back. Yeah, we did. Wait, um, I didn't get to drink that. So oh, we got, we got more for you. Next time. We got more for you. But, but, and also my Devil's Purse color. Green. Sweet. Yeah. Cool. Just for yeah, those right. keeping track at home. So this is episode 11. We're talking about collaborations. What's more neighborly than a collaboration, neighbor Sean? There is nothing more. Uh, I mean, look at all of these. All of these beers in some way have something to do with either a brewery collaborating with another brewery or with a good cause or with a, a good restaurant, whatever it is, it's a neighbors meeting neighbors. Fake meeting news! Good. That's fake news. <laughs> fake news. We also have Defiant here. Defiant, we got Kyle from Defiance over here. Uh, we talk about Rockland Beer Week that's coming up starting next Wednesday, July uh, 22nd. 25! July 25th. So on Monday, yeah. uh, Monday, July 25th. The Wednesday. It, Oh, Wednesday, yeah. July 25th, um, is Rockland Beer Week. Make sure you get out to Rockland. We'll talk more about that later in Beer Report. And Rockland is basically like our neighbors. It's this West is a Westchester West show. West. They're right yeah. there. If, if, yeah. if there was a fence mm -hmm. separating it, it would be the Hudson River. I love that. So <laughs> the Hudson River is the fence that separates us yeah. or brings us together. So, so we've got Kyle from uh, Define. He's going to be coming on for Pearl World River's Finest. Yeah. So, uh, Mike, uh, you got anything to add? What, what kind of sidecars are we drinking today? Uh, yes, I oh, need a sidecar. Wow. All right. Gotta finish this one really quick. If this so, is your first time at Fence Bar, we basically drink beers two ways. We've got your Dad Light, which is empty, light. and this is your Easy Drinker. This is your light beer, low ABV. This is your Pounder. Currently a Prohibition Lager from, from Defiant. Defiant. We're drinking Defiant all day. Four point two percent. It's a uh, it's a adjunct lager with corn. It's great. Delicious. And Wait, you're defying our dad light? Is that yeah. What it's Defying our dad light and gross. our sidecar like, and it's everything. That. Hold on. We'll get some of that. Up, I only have fake. Which defiant? That, this one? That one. Okay. Yeah, that's the Prohibition fill it up, Lager. Fill it up. Fill it up. Fill it up. Sidecars, right now, I've been I've been cheating. I went a little bit to the uh, People Power, cool. which is a collaboration that's being done by 25 different breweries. Uh, and this is Industrial Arts version, and it's delicious. Sweet. And your sidecar is your share beer. This yeah. is the beer people bring over, they want to try. Oh, it rare. might be a, a rare beer, an expensive beer, and a high ABV beer. Something that you want your neighbor to taste. It's not, it's, it's a lot of things in life are good for just enjoying by yourself, but yeah, yeah. everything Thank tastes you. better when you get to enjoy it with your neighbor. Yep. Speaking of neighbors, mm. uh, what, what kind of neighbor? Chico. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, look at all those beautiful who are those, faces. Who are those I know, Sean, faces tell on us that. about this sidecar. So this is a, this is All a right. uh, Newberg Brewing Company oh, has long done a collaboration with the Chico and Sons, um, and this is their vice. So their vice becomes my vice. My vice is beer, people. The Chico's is also the first Fence Bar sponsor. We get bags of ice for free. We just have to mention the Chico and just Sons. once. We've already mentioned them three right. times. So we need three bags of ice. Yep. Yeah, yeah. make a phone call. Hold on. But thank you. But thank you to Chico's. So let's, 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 let's taste it real quick. Hey, man. Howdy, howdy. Howdy. Fence Bar is just getting a little bit better. I think it's time to bring Rockland. in neighbor Kyle. Come on, Kyle. Oh, bring him on down. All the way from Rockland County. Hey, River. Actually, he lives in Garnerville, don't you? Yeah. I do. He yeah. does. He, he lives, lives across the street. I am a neighbor to arts. our friends at Industrial Arts. That's great. It's a good thing we have four of their beers. Yes. Uh, we have more than you, uh, more of your Defiant beers. Yeah. Industrial and Defiant. And Defiant. Well, some old neighbors. We're in Rockland County. It we is in Westchester. We got plenty of. It's in America stuff. too. So. And uh, yeah. no, that's true. Dude, so this is this has traditionally <laughs> been a Westchester show. Okay. We always ask people what it's like to live in Westchester, yeah. what it's like to work in Westchester, right. but this week it's all about Rockland. And so, Rockland. what is we're breaking, Rockland? We're breaking it open, man. We're, yeah. We're 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 leaving our comfort zone. What, what you're, you're stepping over the other side of the fence. That's yes, it. Yes, you are. Seriously. What what it. is on the other side of the fence, man? Man, we got. 
got a lot of uh, awesome stuff. The thing that Rockland is really well known for is we got a lot of outdoor stuff. We got Harriman Park. We got Bear Mountain. Um, a lot of outdoor activities, hiking. We got a massive mall. But I mean, I, I prefer myself on the other side. I'll climb in a mountain. Yeah. Um, that wall was the shit, man. Yeah. When they first built that wall, really? that mall was the shit. That was like yeah, been to that mall. It's yeah. The, I oh, mean, yeah. they got like, go karts in there, right? They, yeah, they have go karts. They have. Uh, I mean, like literally have everything. You got comedy. Uh, you got a yard house. You got a Levity Live. Uh, yeah. Comedy club, dude. Yeah. What was the restaurant that was like the Amazon jungle restaurant? Uh, oh, oh, uh, rainforest. That, oh, the rainforest, the rainforest restaurant. cafe. That was the yeah, shit. yeah. That I think that's a cheesecake. Shit. I think it might be a cheesecake factory. Oh, uh, 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 pro tip: uh, no. don't eat the the, the, the <laughs> dynamite trip. Don't eat the dynamite trip. <laughs> <laughs> they are not dynamite. Yeah, um, <laughs> but something in your body will explode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there's there's. They will not be one of our sponsors. Like, <laughs> never. We are now, you know, home of five breweries in um, in Rockland County. A lot of awesome craft beer bars. When did Defiant start, though? Uh, Defiant started um, in our hearts. <laughs> yes, that's where everything starts. <laughs> um, and then it yeah, comes out of so here. So our, our owner and brewmaster, uh, Neil Acer, he is he's been around the New York scene for a long year. Well he's over. Boss hog, man. Though. Yeah, man. He's been around for. Uh, he makes you anus. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought about it that way. Uh, he's been around the New York scene for uh, over 20 years, um, just dedicated to the craft of like making New York uh, the, the craft beer scene. He's a connector, um, isn't he? Yeah, well? uh, absolutely. Um, knows literally everybody that you'll ever meet. You can meet a, a person in like Zimbabwe and be like, oh, do you know Neil Acer? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, how yeah. do you know him? Um, and he, he's an incredible brewer, an uh, awesome business owner, we've, and we've had a blast over the course of, we opened up in 2005. So um, and they're coming a long way. You yeah, guys, man, it's been, it's been, a, it's, we're on the, on the slow ride. It's been a, a blast to see New York become what it is. That's awesome, man. Yeah. And so um, I'm just curious, like, how, do, how did you guys come up with the name Defiant? Because... <laughs> I consider you guys defiant. Like, just look at you. You're wearing a denim vest. Yeah. Denim you're, vest in the summer. Yeah, you're defiant as fuck. So, how did you guys come up with defiant? Um, well, there, there, there's a lot, there's a, a lot of different aspects that play to it. But like, when we opened in 2005, um, there, there, there wasn't a whole lot. There was us. Our, our buddy Tommy Keegan had a spot up in uh, Kingston. Scott still does. Oh, yes, oh, yes, he does. <laughs> Scott, Scott uh, over at Captain Carol, Lawrence yeah. and. There was, uh, the, Neil had come from uh, working and, and making some amazing beers with some other breweries and wanted to go out on his own and didn't want to take other people on to, to make the, those decisions. He wanted to make those decisions for his beer, brew what he wanted, right. and so do it being, the way being he wanted. Defiant. Being defiant with the beer that we made. So this is back in 2005, um, and I came on quite a few years back. I, I can't Dude. even remember. I can't even. <laughs> I've known you for I was, as like, long I was as gonna I say, like, I've known you for just Ever. as probably the longest. <laughs> and yeah. anybody else that still exists in the craft beer community. <laughs> You've been um, around for a long time. I know. Yeah, I smell it's like a, it too. Uh, <laughs> I don't, don't want to say anything. But, um, but yeah, it's been a, an awesome journey to see really what has happened in. Our immediate area in Rockland and Westchester, the Hudson Valley, and even in the rest of New York. Well, we're going to bring you back for okay. Beer Report, so, yeah. like, uh, you guys are lucky. Yeah. You're gonna you guys are doing some big things these days. Yeah. I heard you're opening up, like, a new space, and yeah, you got, got a big we fucking smoker. got a smoker. new beer hall open, an yeah. awesome smokehouse. All right, all right. Save it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, so we always ask our, our guests three questions, okay. and we're going to fine-tune this a little bit for Rockland County, but let's okay. start off with... What kind of beer do you have in your refrigerator right now? Yep. And, you know, I know you have a lot of Defiant, but what else do you have in your refrigerator? And you got to tell us about the stuff you might be embarrassed about. Okay. Or, what you got, man? You yeah. Got? Um, it's, it's been a long week, so there's not as much left as I would like there to be. <laughs> that's, a, uh, that's a beer salesman <laughs> answer right there. <laughs> but it, no. It might uh, be Thursday to you, So it's Friday every night. I have uh, Yaver Pilsner. Oh. Um, just... To date, I, it's not Still. a Hudson Valley, it's not New York, but it's one of my personal German, favorites. German, German, it's always in the fridge. I, uh, I have some, a few bottles of Orval, um, <laughs> just because that's it's Orval. It's Orval. Orval. I have some Plan B uh, Barn Beer. Cool. Um, from Evan and Emily up there, up in uh, Poughkeepsie. Uh, 
some Do Mike's pe- Hard Lemonade or anything? I, I, it's uh, Mike's Light Lemonade. <laughs> oh. It's what I have right the now. Light Lemonade. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Sean might I, need that tomorrow morning. Yeah, I that's, that's, that's my Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> like the, um... <laughs> No, I don't think I do. Uh, That's okay. You know what, though? Like a week or two ago, I had a couple friends over. And you know how we all have that one friend who like brings over that we're like five? And it was Bud Light Orange. Oh, Adam. Did That's you hear that? Yeah, Adam's <laughs> got, got Bud Light he's Orange. Got, he's got yeah. some Bud Light Orange. Bud Light Orange I think there's a bottle or two of that kicking around in yeah, there. Yeah, okay. Um, and then some Peak Skill Simple Sour. That's uh, awesome, man. Yeah. I question number two. So you're having a party. Okay. Now, normally when I ask this uh, question to people, mm-hmm. I, I, they're not going to be as well equipped as you to answer. <laughs> so let's say, oh boy, though, here we go. You're having a party. You're yep. going to curate it. As, okay. As you know, uh, curation is a. Is a Brought to you a, by the curator of beer. Oh. <laughs> Look at the that. curatorofbeer.com. That's it. <laughs> it is. Right. Check it out. The curator of beer.com. Curator of beer. What beers are you going to serve? But I'm going to up uh, the ante because okay. it's okay. not just there. I want to know what the whole um, rainbow what the arc of beverages are. So oh, it could be it could be beer. It could be cider. Sure. Um, it could be Mike's Hard Lemonade. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are you going to do for us? So. Being that I've worked in a brewery in New York for many years now, I have gotten to that point where I'm like, become that snob of like, I only buy stuff from the state of New York. So um, a lot of that comes from that. Now, mind you, it's we have, Austin Valley has a ton of like great cideries, so always make sure I have a cider. Usually it's from Docks or uh, Pennings. I have some, some beer, uh, okay. c- cider from those guys in there. Um, obviously, some Defiant Brewing Company beer. Um, I would three recommend or four shelves. The Prohibition Lager. The Prohibition Lager, which I am consuming at this very moment. Cheers, oh my. By the way, today. cheers to that. Oh, cheers to that. Freaking cheers. delicious. Thank guys. you very much. Cheers. Mikey Tables. And Wait, cheers. Is that what I'm drinking? Yeah, yeah it is. All right. All right. <laughs> um, so, it's one of the ones we have. Um, you always have to do your IPAs just because. The kids love them. The kids love the They're IPAs. They're crazy about them. You know, especially the juicy ones. Oh, oh there's, 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 uh, I saw people doing dances. Yeah. Um, so you just sang yeah. the right note, note baby. <laughs> and we have, like, the Hudson Valley has, you don't have to go far to get much anymore. Uh, <laughs> you, like, you can knock on your neighbor's door, and they're like, oh, yeah, my, my friend owns this brewery, and he makes an amazing New England IPA. Um, so usually have some of, some of what those. What is it going to be, though, Kyle? Mm. Ah, you man, can't just he... tell me a style. I, style, style. I know you're trying to push me here. Uh, so push our, our boys up at Equilibrium, obviously, oh, are, are, yeah. are putting, yeah. are putting, yeah. those boys, yeah. are putting us on the map in Lots of Valley. For, there, so some right? D-Hop. Um, our, our neighbors, uh, District 96, oh. have been crushing um, a lot of New, New England mm-hmm. IPAs. They're like a mile from our door, so come visit. Yeah, we can, we can hit some it. crazy beer by road us trip. and road, road, right road down trip, the road. Baby. We're road um, trip. Field trip. Sorry. Yeah. Book it, uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Got it. I'd probably go for for that because it's like super hyper local, um, and like New England IPAs is supposed to be fresh. So right, why are you not? Your next party, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, what are you guys doing tomorrow? <laughs> right? uh, I'm hanging out <laughs> with you. Oh, All yeah. right. Um, and then, I, like selfishly, I'm I I if I'm if I'm hosting a party. I want to be able to session through that today, so we're doing going back to the Yaver or some local pilsners, the Prohibition Lager, Prohibition yeah. some Lager. stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and then normally there's always I at my parties I always have a station for like old fashions. Oh, cool! Like, like if it's, cocktails. Yeah, like cocktails. Whoa. But like not like letting people like go crazy no, no, on booze. Make... There's a wow. little old fashioned station. That's you got, 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 got yeah. You got your Luxardo cherries. Wow, you got your bitters and the whole thing. And that's a little little corner there. Are you like, using oh. New York bitters? Uh, I have. I don't think I have any New York bitters. Oh, step your game. I guess. Oh, I'm sorry, Mister. I'm local. Dude, that sounds oh, like <laughs> one hell of a party. Yeah, so we're coming. Come yes. on by, everybody. Come by. Well, don't tell my name. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end of our three questions. But no, we the, third, the third question. You missed the we third. We sneak one in. No, man. What is your most definitive oh, yeah, moment I forget that one. in beer? My most I, definitive, like what what what's the one hmm. thing you know when you you remember the first time that you had like for me my most definitive moment was actually with Brian Morgan, okay, who's here from right. Ohio, all the way from Ohio. When I was fourteen, <laughs> I uh, we were walking in a pack in Columbus, and I was drinking a two liter of uh, Bartles and James. Okay, because I'm a classy kind of guy. Sure, yes you are. Uh, and if I drank the whole two liter. <laughs> yeah, right. Everybody says that about me. <laughs> and then I smoked a little bit of the Devil's Lettuce. Okay. 
and I found out that I could projectile vomit on cue. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. And that's your most offensive memory. Your most With offended. Brian Morgan, it is. Shaws! <laughs> <Jimmy! laughs> Bring me the bottles of James! Um, most definitive moment of beer. I think, like, what made me, like, think about, like, why I cared about all this. Vomit Gang's Three Philosophers. There's one time where, like, I didn't, I wasn't, like, the beer and I'm like I'm like oh but some like I saw this beer on the shelf I saw the label had a cork and a cage and I'm like that looks interesting fast forward like 13 years and here I am standing in front of a camera with a glass of prohibition lager in my yes. hand. Uh, that's, that's yeah that's that's literally awesome. like I can pinpoint that beer as being the one that was like why I'm bless doing you this. Kyle that's um, the best answer yet and that because there was you you hit this beer you open it the the Cherries, yeah, the, the cherry, ugh. the everything about it. You're like, what is it's, this? It's a Belgian quad. Yeah, especially coming from like, I yeah, you, like you last night at Miller Lite. Right, yeah. and then you have this. You're like, what just water. happened? Yeah, exactly. Now we're yeah. back to it. Nine and and you get percent. right, and you go into oh. this beer, and it literally like opened my eyes. That's when I started home brewing. It was, uh, it was probably a few years before I started working for Defiant, and then I was like, oh, I gotta figure out what this craft beer world is about. And that's probably my most definitive. Like, I remember that night. I remember opening that bottle. Pretty awesome. Pretty good. Um, yeah. Which is surprising because it's a 9.5% alcohol beer. And I was, didn't have remember anything, right? I shouldn't have remembered <laughs> anything, but I did. Well, you were the fourth philosopher. <laughs> I was the, there we go. Well done. Dude, that's awesome. Um, so, usually the last sneaky question that we add in is Westchester based. Okay. And since this is going to be a Rockland show, mm -hmm. um, we want to know uh, what. A good tip is for someone who is visiting Rockland maybe for the first time or doing a weekend trip. Okay. Besides going to Defiant Brewery and right. hanging out in the right. Beer Bounties Garden, yep. and, yeah. what yep. else um, should what, – what's your tip? What's my tip for Rockland County? Man, that's a, that's a good one. There is a, a crazy amount of history in Rockland County that isn't talked about enough. Like um, there's a bar and restaurant called the Old 76 House. Um, the, and they are where George Washington's headquarters – when he was in this area, and the bar still exists exactly how it looked during that time. Wow, that's cool. And so it's when when you walk in, when you walk in, you want to put on the powdered wig and sit down. Like it's it's yeah. it's crazy. You have to put on a powdered on. wig. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, and you gotta you gotta bring your knickers, right? And you gotta bring your knickers. See, yeah. Bloody powdered uh, wigs. <laughs> but it's it's one of those things when you walk in, you're transformed to hundreds of years ago during this time of where we didn't realize that the Hudson, like a lot of times you forget that the Hudson Valley is part of like the time of like George Washington. And the, and America! Ben Benedict Arnold's, um, yeah, right. his his trial was in the parking lot of the 76 house. Wow, um, I did not and, know that. Like, this Man. is fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. And the Greenway Trail that goes along the Hudson Valley between Haverstraw and Nyack is where Benedict Arnold like exchanged, I think, I'm sorry if I'm not exactly right here. Allegedly. 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 The trees. Hey, fake news. It's fake, fake news. news. <laughs> fake news. Yeah, right, right there, right? Yeah. Um, is where like the the information got traded up. between Benedict Arnold and the British. Wow. And that was happening between Haverstraw and Nyack. Wow. And it's now a hiking trail that goes between Haverstraw and Nyack. Beautiful vista views of the Hudson Valley. Uh, the Hudson uh, River. It's just a. Be it's a. So, like I always suggest when people are coming out, like oh beer, like go for a hike, go for a walk down there. There's amazing trails. Obviously, we have Bear Mountain, an incredible inn that's up there. Why is it called there, Bear Mountain? Um, I, I think there's just a lot of bears. There no. used to be a lot of bears <laughs> no. at some I, point a I, long time I, ago. I, again, I wish I had the exact answer for you, but I'm pretty sure that the mountain. If you look from either aerial or some angle, left, it looks like they're there. there. That's what I, I've um, heard. But I've they're actually doing a, their first beer fest on Friday. Cool. Ooh. Um, Next and Friday. they're so they're yeah so they're starting to do like their like get really into like the local craft as well. That's great. Um, Kyle. Yes. Dude, we owe you a big thank you, thank you. because oh, without you. you, we probably wouldn't be here. <laughs> we would be all on vacation. Yeah, we'd still be in the cave. <laughs> yeah. um, I, should I apologize? Or should no, I? No, 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 okay, okay. no. We were all <laughs> craving this. Craving yeah, we needed it. And also, awesome. we are, we're going to talk about in Beer Report later yep. about the Rockland Beer Week, which okay, is cool. do, really what we're Do everybody a favor. Look yeah. into the camera and tell everybody where Define is, how they could get there, when they, when they should right come, there. what's going okay, on. Cool. Camera two. Camera two. Um, yeah, so Define Brewing Company. Is uh, in Pearl River, New York, at Six East Dexter Plaza. Uh, we are open seven days a week, uh, 363 days a year. Uh, during the week, we open up at two. During Woo! the weekends, we open up at noon. Come on by. Four draft lines. Pearl River. 
Brooklyn! 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 Y'all! Austin! We'll have you back! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Awesome. Thanks so much, bro. Hey, anytime, guys. Thank you. We'll see you come back in a little bit. Yes. Sweet. That was awesome. That was awesome. Oh. 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 So, uh, Mikey, what time is it now? Oh, I don't know. It's like nine foot. Uh, oh, is it beer? Beer brains. Beer brains. Beer brains. Beer brains. Beer brains. Beer brains. So this uh, this week we're gonna have a little fun with beer brains. We're not talking about styles. Nope. Uh, we're not talking about uh, re <laughs> regions of beer or anything. We're talking about collaboration. The most neighborly thing you can do. There's nothing more neighborly. Yeah, right? It's like a collaboration. This is a collaboration. You and I are collaborating. You and we're all collaborating. collaborating. So how do collaborations work? Why the hell are there collaborations? And before we get into it, yeah. you told me about a collaboration between a beer and a rap group. Oh, yes. And I don't even understand how that works, man. Here it so is. Like, like, panther like oh, a, a panther. Fuzzy. Panther right. like a panther is a collaboration between Camera one, Inter hold, hold two. Hold and the rap Camera group. one, uh, Camera run two. Run the jewels. Run the jewels. Yeah. And so why do people collaborate, man? Well, just like you said, you know, you want to be able to hang out with your, your friends, right? With like-minded people, and you want to create something badass. Right? So initially, uh, collaborations between craft breweries were a way for... Uh, to get your distribution in an area where maybe your friend was selling beer, yeah. but you weren't, and you wanted to get a little exposure. Yeah, a so, little cross contamination. Boom! Kind of like you're yeah. in the West Coast, I'm on the East Coast. Let's collab. Let's make a phenomenal oh, beer. Speaking of collaboration, yeah, we were just talking about Interboro Panther like a Panther. Yeah, we were also just talking about the Chicos uh, and Newburgh oh, Brewing Company. Do I smell a new uh, sidecar? Uh, can I kick it? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. can, I kick it? can. This is Can I Kick It 2. Ooh. Uh, this is their second collaboration with the Chicos at Interboro. Hold on. All right. Uh, oh, excuse me. Can I kick it? Yes, you, you can. can. So, uh, so this is another thing that you're also collaborating with now. Uh, it's not just breweries collaborating with breweries. It's breweries collaborating with other retailers. So the DeChico and Sons make uh, sell and are pioneers in the craft beer movement from a retail standpoint and so craft breweries acknowledge that and they're making beers with them we have two of them here we've got the newberg uh the, the, this one as well as the one with interboro and they do it with other people too i mean they're always pushing the envelope but it's all because of the same reason Sharif. they want to get their beers out there and they also want to collaborate yeah they want to hang out with the brewers that are making the beer that they're selling and put, their, and put their stamp on it. With their neighbor. Their stank on it, if you will. Their stank on it. Little stank on it. Stank on it. So, uh, so, okay. So, collaborations nowadays, if you look at 2018, it's not so much as far as the distribution model. It's sort of come into the state where most of the these breweries that we're, we're talking about here are self-distributing. And so, they're, they're collaborating with like-minded people. Uh, from different places, and it's a it's a little bit of a of, of a fun thing. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of a pride thing, um, but then it goes to the second component of who benefits from collaboration. It's the retailer, <laughs> yep. or if the retailer in this day and age, it's actually the brewery, because they're going to sell it all in house, and people are going to wait in line like right. they do uh, around the corner at Hudson Valley or Threes or Industrial Arts or wherever it is. Because there's a limited amount of this special beer brewed with their friends that you can only get in one place. It's all about exclusivity. Exclusive. One of the coolest beers. Uh, neighbor Tom from Fence Bar CT. Ooh. I think he's out there somewhere. Neighbor Tom, where are you at? Yeah. We got Typecast, which is actually two big time breweries, two, two roads, roads and Lawson's. Ooh, right? You know, and they didn't have to go too far to collaborate. They brew at they two brew, roads. They both brew they? at two roads. So it's easy. It's convenient, but, but it's two big time breweries. Dude, it's Sean Lawson and it's freaking Phil Markowski. Phil! Phil and Sean. And they Man. are two of the best brewers, uh, brewers in the world have come together to make a farmhouse and a uh, IPA collab thingy. And it's, and it's pretty cool. Uh, neighbor Mike, you got to take that can up to the thing because it's like, I want cartoon versions Here. of us. And we'd like that. Is that kind of like us anyway? <laughs> A little bit. I, when I first, saw I'm it, more I was Sean. Like, you're more, uh, more uh, Phil. Does anybody have dark hair and dark skin? Anybody have a sharpie? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they could though. Yeah. No. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Moving on. 
Um, so uh, the other thing with collaborations is uh, now breweries are moving on to um, collaborate for good, for the good of an organization. Uh, Matt Levy from Threes Brewery, uh, I believe, is the one that kickstarted this idea, not Kickstarter, just like the actual term kickstart, um, of uh, people power. So we have two versions of that. And there's 25 breweries that are participating where 10% of all the sales go to the ACLU, yep. um, which is dope. And each brewery is doing a different style, so it's not like we're all making the same hop varietal IPA. It's like whatever you want to do. Um, put your own stank on it. Yeah, I like the stank on is, it. Is, is this a way for breweries to give back a little bit? Yeah. Like, this is an opportunity where, you know, they know people are going to come out and Dude. buy this beer. And it's like, hey, let's just do something for the community. Let's donate 10% of the proceeds. And, and it makes everybody feel good. Yeah. Um, and it's doing something that what breweries are just innately trying to do anyway, which is give something back to the community and make everybody feel good. Mike, you got any collabos coming up? Uh, oh, actually, I want to talk to you guys about a little collaboration I have yeah, with, uh, with tool Toolnut. Tool tool so, um, this collaboration is between me and Toolnut and Three Industries. Three Industries and Toolnut. And uh, we are going to be giving me 25% off at the Toolnut from here to eternity. <laughs> Uh, and you're gonna keep buying from them. My business. And you're gonna keep buying it from yeah. them. <laughs> so, good Doug. solid collaboration. Doug, Doug, I mean, that sounds like an awesome collaboration. Um, thanks for right. signing up for that. <laughs> so, that's a good one. That's a solid yeah, one. Yeah, I'm working but, on it. But we have like a bunch of uh, of, he of things here. I just want to like briefly go over some of them yeah. because we've got some some real pioneer breweries that are working together. Um, this particular one, I know we keep on. Uh, emptying our sidecars, but I've been dying to try this. Let's try it. This is a collaboration with Anchorage Brewing Company and Monkish. Um, and it's a can that I bought off of a Tavor, which is this like new online build your own beer cart kind of thingy. We created that, but they took we, it we cre the thing. You created late it. Late Night at the Fence Bar. We did. And I bought this Late Night at the Fence Bar. Yeah. It's a double IPA, so hold on, let me kick this. Holy shit, that was delicious. Was that the Can I Kick It? That was the Can I Kick It. Yeah. I, you should never do that, kick that much of Can I Kick It, but if you do, woo, yes you can. Uh, all right, so here we go. So this is a, Monkish is a, is a brewery that everybody's talking about. And Anchorage, a brewing company, are always making amazing beers. Sorry, Anchorage, Alaska? Yeah. So this beer is this a is collaboration the, the, between The, the, the 49th state, man. Cool. Hold it up so we can see the color. Where is Monkish, by the way? I don't know. <laughs> Monkish is in the minds of every craft beer buyer. Fantastic. Right now. Ooh, beautiful. So, uh, so anyway, here's Ooh, to this beer. that's a stinky beer. one. Ooh, what little, is this? Stank on it. Stank. Stank in the tank. Oh, interesting. Oh, you know what? But it's not too stanky when you're Not stanky no. at all. No. Very smooth. I was a little scared of that one, but mm. good. It's weird that the stankiness is there, but it's not actually it's balanced. There. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a really a, beautiful beer. What does that taste like, dude? What do we got here? What do we um, got going on here? Sorry. Yeah, it's, all, it's a. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't read, read like, all the yeah. things about it. But here's the other thing about the other collaborations that we have. So we have uh, Industrial Arts. And they're doing collaborations with a lot of people, and they're doing one particularly with uh, Loch Gill, which is a, a brewery in Ireland. They've actually done two of them. And then the second one, they did it with collaboration with Thin Man Brewery out of Buffalo. Um, and then they did another collaboration with uh, 2SP. These guys are collaborating. You know? Oh, they and then they there. did a, a People Power, Power People. Yeah. By the way, you can go to the website peoplepowerbeer.com to find more about the different breweries that are participating in this and that are giving 10% back of all profits to the ACLU. Get involved, people. Um, and then we have McKellar NYC, not McKellar, McKellar NYC. They've also done a, a, a People Power. They did a collaboration with Root and Branch. Uh, and then we have a collaboration of Sand City and Barrier, two of Long Island's finest breweries, making a nice little dank thing. Yep. And then we got um, Foreign Objects. Foreign Objects collaborating with uh, CP, Crime and Punishment Brewery. Dude, oh, I'm I thought excited. it was CP like CP. Oh. CP's never coming here. CP's never coming here. I don't know. Neither is Chris Vergara. Neither is David Dabari. Where the fuck are all the chefs in Westchester? You Why guys... would you want to come cook with us? Come on, guys. Come on. get it, Pick it up. I don't know. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. 
Um, I'm excited about the foreign objects. Everything foreign objects. But basically, makes it really good, man. Collaborations are, are exactly that, baby. It's neighbors meeting neighbors that happen to be skilled in brewing, and they're making beer that is something that us, the consumer, wants to try, and it's excited to try. Let's collaborate. Let's collaborate. Let's collaborate on a beer. That was a great beer, Brains. Thank you. Thank you. Is it time for Beer Report? Beer Report! Let's bring Kyle back on! Kyle, you're back in! You're coming back, son! Glen County, son of a bitch! So, so big thing, we talked about it a little bit. Rockland uh, County is doing their, how many annual, what year is this, of your Rockland County uh, Beer Week? Uno. Oh, the, the inaugural. The inaugural. The inaugural. 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 Uh, was it, it was enough for me to come back from Nantucket. Aha. Uh -huh. To come yes. back and help you Perfect. celebrate this. Oh, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, our first, our first very, uh, our very first year doing the uh, Rockland County Beer. So what are some of the breweries in Rockland County yeah. that are participating? So obviously we've been around a while. Uh, we were in 2005. We opened up. And now we're at five in uh, Rockland County. So there's five. us. Yeah, five. Five breweries in Rockland County. It's amazing. Uh, there's us. There's yep. our friends that we were just talking. You guys were just talking about Industrial Arts Brewing Company, which I happily live like across the street from. Um, He's also built a place where you can crash out. I yeah, heard, just a, you, uh, go you're not supposed to say that on oh, like. Oh, that's all. Oh, camera. great! Now, now all of a sudden. Yeah. No, 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 but you have to know the code oh, word. Know the and they don't yeah. know that. They don't know the oh, they'll figure, they'll figure the, it. You need out. the key card. <laughs> They're just gonna yeah. open the recycling bin. They're like, oh, he lives here. Look at your collaboration cans on recycling day. That's where Kyle lives. Yeah, so we got those guys. We have District 96, which opened up over in New City. Can't uh, wait to try. The 96th district uh, of New York. Oh, um, that's that's boom, 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 boom. There you yeah. go. Um, Kuka. Kuka. Um, slash the nap, nap time. time. Over in Blauville. Andrew was supposed to be here tonight, but she wasn't able to come. So Andrea, Andrea, I hope we you're miss doing you. All right. we there miss was you. Where are you? Yeah. No excuse. No. no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's. that's she's a good friend. Yeah, yeah she is. She's, she's awesome. Good she's and um, then we also have a Gentle Giant who opened up around the corner from us. You're a Gentle Giant. Um, well, thank you. Thanks for coming, Sean. Um, so it's like, did I get them all? District yes, industrial, yeah, I get. So that's so basically it was more of it was a celebration of Rockland County. It's five breweries. And we partnered with five craft beer bars, uh, actually technically 5.5, because one is right over the border of New Jersey. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Um, Let's not it, get into details. Neighbors don't have borders. <laughs> neighbors don't have yeah. borders. Fences make great neighbors. Yes. Yes. Let's not get into details. Yep. So we have uh, some great craft beer bars that are partnering with us that are going to be putting on a collaboration beer that we brewed last week. All right, That's so awesome. you did it with Barrier. Right. No, we did a yes, we did a beer with Barrier as well. Uh, collaboration For and Barrier, you know, Defense Bar is a mainstay. We, right. We're big fans. Yep. You know, Good and friends. Evan and Mike D are whores. I mean, they do a <laughs> lot of collaboration. He said it, not me, Mike. Uh, he said, well, I mean, I, I mean, I love those guys, but I mean, <laughs> they do more collaborations, but everyone is phenomenal. Yep. There's not a single collaboration yep. that I've had. Uh, from them, so I'm very excited to try yours. Keep later. collaborating, yes, Mike. Keep collaborating. Keep on yeah. going. Keep on hey, collaborating. I'm gonna collaborate with you guys and eat this sandwich over. Oh, oh wait, thanks. that's not being collaborative. That's, that's not very. No, that's just you eating a sandwich. Oh, <laughs> you asshole. So yeah, I have some of our uh, collaboration here, which is actually technically not available yet. Oh, Defense oh. Bar um, release. Yes. So uh, exclusive, went out for exclusive, basically exclusive. went out for delivery uh, yesterday. yesterday, yesterday and today. Nice man. Um, and we'll be put on draft throughout New York City. Did you bring it with you? Yeah, I got yeah, it. Yeah. All right, hold on. I got some right here. I, th I'm not, I'm not, I don't normally like to wolf down these sidecars. Sure, sure. Well, well the, the benefit beer. of this one is it's 5.5%. It's a dead light. So it's, no, but I mean, I'm like, this is an exclusive. Uh, well, beer, sure, absolutely. For you, my friend, Enjoy and Barrier. There it is. Let's have some of that. So bring it down. Tell me a story about um, Ambulance uh -huh. Brew Pub. Oh, Ambulance I, Brew House. Brew House. They Love have an event that I believe is a little bit of like uh, the the apex yeah, of Bert. Rockland Beer Week that fits really well Ooh. into our little collaboration. Uh, yeah. Theme. Um. So next week. Oh, sorry. This week, Saturday. Man, I'm losing track What's of my own date? time. July twenty eighth. July twenty eighth. Oh, yeah. Cameraman. Oops. Cameraman. Cameraman. Yes. Matt. Needs um. It. July twenty eighth. Pretty much. Uh, 
open till close. They are going to be doing an all Lighting guy. Tables. Oh, Lighting, who am I missing? Guy. Who am I missing? Lighting guy. There we go. It's nice and easy That's a drink. Uh, yeah, a lot of flavor oh, for 5.5. Nice. Thank you. Thank there you. This go. is really easy drinking. Oh, Where did you guys brew this? Oh, we brewed no, this no, at no, the fine. No. So we were drinking. Really? You guys are drinking the uh, the collab. Actually, I have my own sidecar in my back pocket. Oh, this guy. There we go. Um, and so yeah, 5.5 percent alcohol. This is uh brewed with Lovely. Amarillo and some uh, Mandarina Bavaria and some Yukonot. Mandarina Bavaria. Love that. Yukonot. Is that is that the Citra of Germany? The Citra of Germany. That's right. You guys are geeking out here. Yeah. <laughs> he uh, told me. I, hey. I, 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 before he came, I didn't know what it was. But yeah, back to ambulance. So they're doing a, uh, they have 20 lines, and they're doing an all-collaboration tap takeover. 20 collaborations. Yes. It's going to be, it's going to be epic. Um, I've never seen that, by the way, at any I uh, don't think group I of. have either. You know? Um, I, I, so I, we're, 20 lines, too. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot of curating. Yep, yeah. it is. And they're they're Says great the at that over there. Curator of beer. Curator of beer. Dot com. Uh, <laughs> dot com. <laughs> dot com. Um, <laughs> dot com. <laughs> dot com. USA. Uh, <laughs> so we're we're gonna have the barrier club over there, and they're also just gonna have some, just some ridiculous beer all day. And the coolest part is is that there we collabed on a beer. The five breweries in Rockland County oh. collabed on a beer last week. Where'd you do it? At Industrial Arts Brewing Company. Of course you did. So that brew house, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean Industrial it's, it's Arts. Yeah, it's you know it's it's it's, uh, it's, it's a it's a it's, it's a little, little bit small. It's it's you know not huge. Yeah, I mean, it's I a mean, little. Uh, you know, I wish they had more like experience uh, in technology. Yeah, no, and they only had technology yeah, a, and, and uh, nuance. Yeah, like, you and me both. Hey, so that's great. actually what I said to them when I walked in. I was like, yeah, guys, this isn't quite enough. Yeah, yeah, technology right. here. They got great floors too. <laughs> they do. Yeah, have great some floors. beautiful floors. Katie Dee Dee. Katie Dee Dee did the design of the tiles yes, from Blind Tiger, uh -huh. my, one of my favorite bartenders, That's right. did the tile design. Which is also on their can Eight. art, mm -hmm. on every single With can. With all the head yep. guns. yes baby. So we had a blast over there, we showed up nice and early in the morning, we all brought a bunch of beer, right. we had worked on the recipe for a couple weeks, and we're putting out on, on July 28th at noon at Industrial Arts, we're going to be doing a can release over there. So it's going to be the five breweries from Rockland County, the beer is called Rocklandia, uh, uh, and is it like Portlandia? Yep, but Rocklandia. Because Rock. we're weirder. You're weirder. <laughs> Make Rockland weird again. Make Rockland weird again. Um, and is it's Rockland uh, ever weird? Uh, it's where you got to come over to the other side of the river more often. Ooh. We're 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 a lot of weirdos over there. Oh man. Um, well, you're you're one of my favorite weirdos. So <laughs> I guess it makes sense. Oh, thank you. It makes Appreciate sense that. Now. Um, but yeah, it's coming out. We're gonna do a can release. It's gonna be uh, available on draft at limited locations. Um, but the, yeah, we brewed it with uh, local honey uh, from Bee Karma. That is a guy, uh, David Pritchett. He uh, is an apiary, has apiaries throughout the Hudson Valley. Okay. So we did honey in it. What's some the oats. ABV on that thing? Uh, I we're we're still waiting because it's. Kind when did you, TBD. When, TBD. When did you put in the honey? Is it on uh, hot side, cold side. Uh, the at, at, at the at great. the end. At the, end, yeah. at the very oh, end right. of the brew. Um, so yeah, yeah it's gonna be you're never, you don't know. But a New England IPA, it's gonna be with, like, with, obviously uh, it's a New England IPA with, uh, with oats? oats and oats and honey. Dude, it's gonna be delicious. That sounds oh, like give my. Me um, give me, give me, yeah. give Could me, you give save me. me a couple cans because I'm gonna be gone? No. Oh, uh, not very neighborly. You gotta come back for vacation. I'm joking. Of course I will. Oh, thank you. Thank Dude, you. awesome. Um, yeah. Thank so you. So it'll it'll be a lot of fun. Come out to Rockland. Rockland, July 25th. 25th to the 29th. Events. If you go to rockandcountybeerweek.com, it's got a list Four of all of, of the events. Rockland County Beer Week. It's gonna, be, um, it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be. Lit. It's gonna be lit. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be lit. Um, so we end every episode with ranking of the beers. Yeah. The rankings like never really. Uh, the they rankings stick. continue. <laughs> they they kind of evolve. Give me that growler of the corn lager. The the. I think that's there. It doesn't. The rankings evolve over the night, so come back, check out Instagram, see how but this all initially, settles up. All of these, I think, are going to end up on the uh, thing. But this one's Sean, what one. do you got for the top three so far? Uh, I'm looking at them. I'm looking all at right. them. What do you, what do you, you got uh, that on there? This is a fake news. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah, I think we're going to we're, we're gonna stop we're gonna there. Hold tight we're going to open all of these, and so <laughs> things might change. Go to fencebar.com on Instagram. If you don't, you're silly. You're silly. You're True. silly Billy. And this was True. episode 11. Thank you so much, Kyle, for coming out hey, from all the way from Rockland guys. County. Hey. This was the Rockland County episode yes. because we love our fucking neighbors. We, we broke rocks. Rockland rocks. Rockland rocks. And tune in in two weeks to uh, episode 12. Uh, uh,
We're man. back on, right? We're back on. August. We're back to August. It's going to be a little... That one's going to be kind of nuts. Is it? I don't know. We'll, we'll, tell, you, nuts. we'll tell you about it later. <laughs> but yeah, wait, we're gonna... wait, wait. I got a historical fact about Rockland County. <laughs> Which camera should I look at? This one? <laughs> so, many of you may not know this, but Rockland County is made of rocks. Why? <laughs> <laughs> in water. <laughs> rocks and water. So tune in. If you thought we sucked, tune back in. If you know. thought we were great, tell your friends and then tune back in. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Everything. all that shit. Please. We're not on Snapchat. Not yet. But Instagram, we're doing good. We're over 1,300. Oh my god, 1,300 followers! <laughs> uh, and we still have 79. YouTubers. <laughs> We're too old. Bring for these YouTube. guys in over here. Come on. All right. Come on. Everybody Bring come in. Hey, come, guys come on. Can you get Fence Bar? Come on. Bring these Gentlemen's guys in. Olympics. This is, this is neighbor Tom from Fence Bar. Ryan Morgan from Columbus. From all the way from Tough Ohio. Time. Everybody up. Come Neither on. Guys. Come in here. These effing guys over here. <laughs> There's more people back there. Come on okay. in. Get the sidecars going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll Everybody. See you guys later. Yeah. Episode 12. We'll Coming see you guys at you soon. Episode 12. Bye. So, oh, Sharif, this whole thing yeah, that Mikey Tables yeah. does is total bullcrap. I heard that they are, oh, they recycle everything. They just like throw it in a landfill anyway. So, what are we doing this about? I don't even know, man. No, no. I'm tired of the whole recycling thing. So anyway. much stuff about recycling. Let's just throw it in the trash. I got a good idea. Where we go? Ah! That was fake news. Do the it's alchemist. Perfect. Do it's the perfect. alchemist. Fake news. Recycle your can, bitch. That was defiant fake news. I'm not giving you a high five for that. That was so poorly executed. That was, that was so terrible. It's a whole bunch of fake news. The whole bunch of fake news. And you just stuck it through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm coming up. That's a wrap. Oh. <laughs>